Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My topic today is From Iron Man to Michael Bubbles. In the famous Marvel comics, Tony Stark has built a lot of armors which he used as Iron Man. We are all familiar with that story. But the early design of the armor was prone to ice and high altitudes. In the comics, Tony built a, a, a special alloy, gold titanium, then he solved the ice problem. Well, Tony wasn't too wrong when he chose titanium. This was, this was actually a practical choice. Titanium is widely used in the modern aerospace industries. To increase the metal property, we can add some good elements into the metals, like what Tony did to make Iron Man. On the other hand, we also need to remove some bad elements from the metals. And that's just where the story begins for my research, using microbubbles to produce clean steel. With better mechanical properties, Clean steel production is a significant issue. In the real industries, gas injection is a common practice to remove the particles. But, uh, sorry. In the previous research, we know that smaller bubbles have a greater potential to attach and remove the band elements. However, when we come to the generation of the tiny bubbles, it's difficult. I'm Xiang Kun a master's student from mining and materials engineering at McGill University. In my research, the bubbles we are looking for are as tiny as the pollen grains in a micro size range. Those bubbles are around 50 times smaller than those in real industries. In my experiments, we are creating a turbulence. Using the turbulence, we are breaking the argon gas into micro size bubbles. We are working tirelessly to reduce the bubble size by intensifying the turbulence intensity. Now, outside our application, in a mineral processing, these bubbles are also used for all particle flotation. These two systems look similar at first glance, but in their system, they are using a water system and room temperature. Back to our system in steel making, in a high temperature liquid steel, it's much harder to generate micro bubbles from Iron Man to micro bubbles. These are the two ways to increase metal property. We feel the steel industry could benefit a lot from this technology, and that's the driving force behind our research. Thanks very much.